Hello, this is Mr. Parks from Risen Christ Lutheran School, and I have another video for fifth grade for Module 5, Lesson 1 from Into Math. In this module, we're going to be working on finding the volume of three dimensional shapes, and so we are going to be doing some things that should be familiar to us using uh, area squares and um, like the little centimeter cubes, and we're going to be working to make different shapes and figure out how we can manipulate those and figure out the math problems that go with them. We want to find the volume, which is going to be the length times the width times the height. Um, so we want to go ahead and look at this. So we have two um, right rectangular prisms, and they are both using the same number of cubes, and they're just oriented differently. So how many cubes do we have? We could go ahead, and one of the things I normally um, start people with uh, pretty quickly is let's take one of these faces. So we can take this face here. We have eight squares that make up that, and then we can say that that's the front, and then we can find the back is going to be the same amount. Uh, for this one, we could go ahead and do the same thing. We find eight, and then we have a second row behind it, which is also worth eight. Um, and so that together would give us a total of 16. And then one of the edges. So what are the dimensions uh, for the first one? We would say uh, if we're doing the length, we would do 2, 2, so 2 times 2, and then the height would be 4. For the other one, we're going to do 4 times 2 times 2. Um, how many faces uh, and edges does a unit cube have? Well, um, I was looking through my stuff. I did not find a cube, but I did find a handy-dandy Nintendo controller, which is at least the right kind of shape, uh, matching more of Kelly's display uh, than, this, uh, than uh, Carlos. I guess if I turned it this way, it could kind of work. Um, so it's going to work the same way because it is going to be a rectangular prism, even though it is not a perfect cube. So we have one, two, three, four, and then I can rotate five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then the back side eleven and twelve for the edges. And then we have six faces, so front, back, top, bottom, left, and right. Hopefully that showed up on camera okay. Um, so we're going to have 12 total edges and six total faces. And then that would give us the same number for the display. It's just that unless they wanted something slightly different, but I would never say, oh, this is one edge, and then this part is one edge, and then this part is one edge. I wouldn't do that. I would just connect all of them. Um, how can you place Carlos's display to make it match Kelly's display exactly? Well, we can just drop it. So we would rotate it by tipping it over uh, in this direction, or I guess we could also tip it over in this direction. Uh, either one of those would work if we knocked it over. Uh, so for the next part, uh, we are working with cube-shaped blocks again, and we want to figure out how many of these that we use. So how many cubes? We have one, two, three, four, five for number one. Uh, number two, again, we're going to have a group of four here, and we have two rows of that, uh, so that would give us eight. And then for this one, we would also have five. Uh, which platform has the greatest number of blocks? We would say that that's number two. And then we could talk about how we could make different uh, shapes. So one of the things I've done with that with, uh, is, uh, with four uh, unit cubes is to talk about Tetris blocks. So we could make a shape that kind of looks like a seven, and we could rotate that in different dimensions. We could make a shape that looks like this. We could make a shape that looks like um, a one or like this. And we can do something similar with all of these. And then we can make one that would look like this with four cubes. We could do something similar with five. And we could, again, rotate that in different directions. 
we could take a shape that's going to look kind of similar to a Z. So we get one, two, three, and four. Oh, that didn't work out. Um, I want the this guy on the bottom. And then we could rotate that. So that kind of gives you an idea of different shapes that we could do with that. Um, and of course, we could just add one extra cube to each of these. Uh, we can't get a perfect square with five, so it would look something uh, more like having a cube with a hat on it uh, to get uh, that with five. And then, of course, we would just count the squares that we see uh, for each of these. So that should be pretty easy. Um, this is not the lesson I'm showing the homework for. I will do that for the next one. Um, so uh, watch the next video. See if adding in the homework problems and a quick explanation of those is helpful for you and your student. If it is, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up uh, on that video or sending me a text or email for parents. Uh, again, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me uh, via text or email for my Risen Christ students. Hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.